So we got a lot of snow last night, overnight. Just hanging out in the backyard. My little guys here have to go potty. Little Cece and little Sweetie. Hey guys. What are you doing? Did you go potty? Come on, you guys do your business. So today I'm gonna do a video on driving a 2019 brand new Mustang GT. Mine's a convertible. The video is gonna be on driving it on the snow. Is it safe to drive your Mustang on the snow? Well, I've been driving sports cars. So I've been driving sports cars pretty much since I've had my license. And they've always been my daily drivers, which means I've always been driving them in the winter also. So I'm pretty good at driving cars in the winter, sports cars in the winter. So I'll give you some tips. I'll tell you what I do to drive it safely. And hopefully it helps you out. Okay, this is my winter setup right here. My winter tires. Put some nice rims on it. Nice aggressive thread. That's what you need. If you're gonna drive it in the winter, you need a good winter tire with aggressive threads so you get good traction okay so you got a good winter tire and you're ready to drive your car the second tip is you have to change the way you drive you can't drive the car the same way you would drive it in dry conditions uh, let's remember it's slushy out there it's very slippery there's uh, black ice on the road, so you do have to change the style of driving. Okay, so the safest way to drive your car, your 2019 Mustang, on terrible winter conditions, is to drive smoothly. Okay? You have to drive your car smoothly. You have to steer smoothly. You have to accelerate smoothly. And you also have to brake smoothly. If you steer smoothly, this will allow your winter tire, in this case the front tires, to grip. If you're not steering smoothly and you're steering very fast, you're not going to allow that tire to grip. That tire is designed to grip the road. So you have to steer smoothly. If you brake too hard, you're going to skid. You know, the car is just going to go and you're going to lose control. And if you accelerate too hard, you know, you're going to spin everywhere and you can lose control of the car. So everything needs to be done smoothly. Okay, tip number three is put your car on manual mode. Okay, if you have an automatic, Put it on manual and use your paddle shifters. Okay, that will allow you to have more control over the car. And it'll make it a lot easier to brake. Okay, because you can downshift. Now you're using your engine to slow you down. So, that's a really good tip. Especially if you're going downhill. If you're going downhill and it's very slippery, and you go on your brake and your car is just going because it's slipping, downshift. Downshift until you're slow enough that you're on first gear and then it's very easy to stop the car at that point. Okay, so put it on manual mode and that'll help you out. Okay, tip number four. Use your modes in the car. You have a snow and wet mode. Make sure you use it. Okay, because that will help the car handle these road conditions, these bad, slippery road conditions, ok? 
okay? Snow in wet mode takes the torque out of the car, makes the car sit, it feels heavier, okay? The car does feel a lot heavier on that mode. And it also changes the way the car brakes, okay? It doesn't brake so hard. So it's a really good mode and that does help a lot. That mode combined with winter tires, combined with a change of driving style really really helps driving in these conditions. likely smash the car somewhere. That's very dangerous. The best thing to do is not to panic, okay? If you lose control of your car, don't panic. Point your wheels to the direction you want to go in a smooth, controlled way, okay? Do not give a gas and do not use the brake either, okay, because that only makes things worse, okay? Now hopefully you were already going slow when you lost control, because remember, you do have to go slow. You can't be driving fast in terrible conditions. stuck on the snow. You got your winter tire but you're still stuck. Tire spinning, you're not going anywhere. The best thing to do, this is what I do. I take the traction control completely off because that allows me to spin the tire as much as I want. And then I try to steer my way out by giving it gas. And then I'll reverse and go forward, reverse and go forward. Now, if that doesn't work, what I do is, I go in the back of the car, I clean on the back tires, around the back tires, I clean the snow out of there, then I go back in the car and I take my rubber mats, my winter rubber mats, and what I do is I put them on the back tires, and then I'll reverse the car out so that the tire makes contact with the mats and gets traction on the rubber mat. And that's a good tip. That's got me out of trouble a few times. Okay, you're driving in terrible winter conditions. You lose control of the car. What should you do in that case? What do you do if you lose control of your car? You hit a patch of black ice 
and the car's gone. It starts going. Don't panic, okay? Everyone panics, and then the steering wheel goes in every which way, really quickly, this way, that way. Hit the brakes really hard, or hit the gas. And that's the worst thing you can do, okay? All those things are the worst things you can do. The situation gets worse if you do that. The best thing to do is not to panic. Don't panic. Remember, you have to do everything smoothly. So you point your wheels to where you want to go in a smooth way and you allow the tire to start making traction and then your car will start going that way. That's all you have to do. If you start panicking, it's gonna get worse. You hit the brakes hard, it's gonna skid even harder because now your tires are making no traction at all. Allow those tires to make traction on the road. Once they get grip, the car will go where you want it to go. So if you're going slow enough, like you should be, because you're driving in terrible conditions, you should be able to recover from losing control. Now, what happens if you're stuck? You're stuck on the snow. The car's not moving. This is what I do. I take the traction control completely off because that, all, that allows you to spin the tires as much as you want. Then I'll give a gas and I'll move my wheel and try to get traction. If I'm not getting any traction, then I'll reverse and try that way. And if I'm not getting any traction at that point, then I get out of the car, I clean on the back tires, all around the back tires, and then, and this is a good tip, I take the rubber mats from inside the car, my winter mats, and I place them directly behind the back tires. And then I reverse, okay? That way the tire gets grip on top of the mat and you get out. It's a great tip, it works. Okay, so this video was mostly for guys who are not comfortable driving their sports cars in the winter. Like I said, I've been doing it since I've had my license, since I was like 16 years old. And uh, I've always driven sports cars in the winter here in Canada because um, they're my daily drivers. I don't like storing my cars. I like to enjoy them all year round. So, you know, when my cars get winterized, I can put all the rubber mats necessary. I, I do the rust proofing and then I, I drive them. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps you out. Um, even if it helps one person, I'll be happy. Uh, and uh, as always, enjoy your car, but always, always be safe. Happy holidays to everybody. Enjoy these festive uh, times. And until uh, next time.